Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be doing a classic masking transition in Lumi Fusion. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's jump into the iPad. So here we are in Lumi Fusion, and we wanna do a masking transition between this clip and this clip. So we're gonna use that post in the first clip. So we wanna scroll along to just where the post comes off the screen, slice there, delete that, and then we're gonna add an overlay title. Move that over the top of that first clip, resize it so that it's the same length. I'm going to double tap it, go down to text, edit the text, and we're just going to delete the text completely. And we're going to create a shape. We're going to create a rectangle. I'm going to resize it so that it's bigger than the screen. Now you probably noticed there's a lot of green in this scene, so we're going to choose this bright blue colour instead of green. Okay, once we've done that, go down to frame and fit. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna line up that blue rectangle with the edge of that post. And we're gonna move along one frame at a time and use that X axis slider to make sure the edge of the rectangle is in line with the edge of the post. Now, each time we do that, LumaFusion is going to automatically add a keyframe onto that timeline for us. So again, just tap one frame at a time, use the x-axis slider to reposition the blue rectangle so that it's right on the edge of the post each time. And just keep doing that frame by frame one frame after another and as you can see we're actually working in reverse here and that's really the trick to this kind of masking effect and i notice a lot of other people that do tutorials don't tell you that but that's really important you're working in reverse So once we've finished, back onto the timeline. And that's what we've got at the moment. So now we're going to export those two clips. So if we go down to the little tick icon at the bottom, we can highlight both of them, go to the clipboard, copy, and then we're going to open a new project and paste those two clips into the timeline. Okay, there they are. Now we're going to export that as a movie. And that'll go straight into our photos. Okay, once we're done, go back to our original project. We can delete those two clips now. I'm going to go to Photos. I'm going to drag that new clip that we just exported onto the timeline. So play it through now, it looks like this. Okay, cool. Now we're going to take that and place it over the top of our second clip. Scroll to about halfway along, double tap, this time go down to colour and effects, 
up to the little key icon and we're going to choose the blue screen key. Now we're going to use the colour picker to pick out that bright blue colour and as you can see straight away it's masked the whole thing out. Now sometimes you might have to play around with the saturation range or something on this side but this has done it perfectly. So when we play it through it looks like this. And that's it, really hope you found that useful. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.